to extend our best wishes as the semester and year come to a close. We know that there are a great deal of circumstances present for families and that the holidays might be not as cheerful or as traditional as in previous years. There are new barriers present in everything from shopping to visiting family members. Our message to you is one of information and hope to help you get through the hardships that you might be experiencing. With some tips from the National Council for Behavioral Health, we want to support you as you enter this holiday season. Ms. Gaines, have you been experiencing any anxiety in the past few weeks? Actually, Chris, yes, I have. With the holidays just around the corner, I have been struggling with the fact that this year, our usual tradition of having a huge Christmas Eve party with my whole family, it's been canceled. So I find myself grieving, not being able to be around others, specifically our holiday family get-togethers that we're so used to having. Sounds like you're finding it really hard to remind yourself of something that sometimes we forget. Practicing social distancing is actually kind of giving a gift, uh, a more special gift than a party might be or a get together. I think that it's important to not romanticize the holiday, especially in this time. Uh, I know it's supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year, but we can embrace this new normal, even if it is temporary and that might help us to get through things. I have a similar situation. Uh, my family, it's always been a tradition for us to get together uh, at the Christmas table and play a game of Monopoly. And at the end of the game, the winner takes, co takes home all the candy canes from the Christmas tree. We're not gonna be able to do that this year. Being at home is lame, and I really don't think Zoom is going to have the same effect that we would have with my brother and sister sitting across the table from me when they land on Boardwalk and I take all the winnings. Yeah, you know what? I can tell that you are competitive, Chris. Have you talked with your siblings about how you could continue this tradition, you know, despite the circumstances, maybe? There are games uh, that have been formatted to play online. I'm sure you know some of them. Hopefully, uh, you guys can keep playing that same game that makes you guys laugh and have so much fun. And then you can keep all that feeling the same by hanging out online. It's really not that much different if you try it out. All the reminiscing that you guys can do throughout the day and playing the game at the end. You know, you can even email the candy canes or send them in the mail to the winner. Yeah, I, I guess that's true. I, I think we've gotten some gifts via email recently, so I, it's something that's new, but we're definitely willing to try it out. So. We'll go for it. I think they'll love it. I'm glad. So something that I have definitely been working on is trying to stick to a budget. And it's so much easier said than done. Far too often, we confuse material things with our happiness. So guess what? This year, Miss Gaines has planned ahead. I made a budget, and I decided that my time and memories were far more valuable than things. Now, don't get me wrong. Mr. Lowe, I did choose to do some shopping. Uh, but I stayed with this year's virtual theme, so I shopped the heck out of Amazon Prime. And I even sat down with my kids and we meal planned our weeks, which was of course accompanied by a pretty planned out grocery shopping list. And I'll even let you in on a little secret, we did take advantage of Instacart a mm. few times. Yeah, I yeah. I say <laughs> all my pre-planning saved me time and headaches, but it does take discipline. Yeah. Well, I can see how planning the at-home routines are a lot like time management here at work. Making homemade gifts is an alternative that I've been meaning to try. Uh, now that you mention it, that might be a good idea. Uh, with only a few days left before the holidays are officially here in full effect, I should prior prioritize what I have left to buy and prepare to buy it for my family or fill it in with something else that maybe you know is not as stressful to make. Hopefully planning ahead a bit helps to prevent the last minute scrambling that I often find myself in um, to buy forgotten ingredients or dishes that I plan to make. Maybe there's still hope in finding some downtime in this holiday season. Uh, with all of the changes that have been in place, I haven't had to worry really about company coming over or cleaning the house, but I still find myself stressed about time. Sometimes it feels even more stressful with all of the online meetings that I have to do or planning. Um, I sit at my computer for hours on end or my back starts to hurt. Um, even if I am having fun with my friends and family, it's still just sitting there as opposed to if they were over. Um, I hardly have time to eat and if I do, it's snacks, uh, sodas, you know, something that's easy to grab. 
So I'm putting on the pounds and I've been looking for ways to help to avoid being stressed and out of shape. Well, something that's been helping me put time aside for myself, for doing all that self-care, that self-love, I like to call it resetting. I actually plan a few sessions throughout the day for myself because it's important. I spend about 15 minutes just taking a walk, uh, similarly to how we used to walk the track during our days at work. But now on break that we're entering, I'm gonna still set aside that time, even if it's just for stretching. Um, I'll probably use timers on my phone. I get up and drink the water when my phone goes off. Um, I just like to regulate my day with healthy choices. So those types of things help me stay on track. And then when I finish my work or I realize that I have been, say, online for a long time, um, I'll grab a book instead. I'll just kind of try to escape, escape into a good story before getting back to something. And it especially calms me down at night to read because it just makes me tired. There's something about reading that just relaxes you. So sticking to a strict bedtime routine is also important for me to get a healthy amount of sleep. So I make sure that I incorporate that into my routine. Even if I'm not fully asleep, just sitting there relaxing and thinking about the day and what I need to do tomorrow helps me stay focused and planning. So Chris, if I could offer you one last piece of advice to you this holiday season, it would be to learn how to say no. We often find ourselves stretching way too thin to accommodate everyone and everything we care about. Saying yes when you should actually say no can leave us feeling resentful and overwhelmed. And sometimes I even have to remind myself as a parent because sometimes I feel guilty saying no to my kids. But just because we're in the middle of a pandemic doesn't mean that I need to compensate by showering my kiddos with lavish gifts or treats. So this goes for after the holidays too when we get back from break. We need to give ourselves permission to say no to anything that makes us unhappy or drains our energy. Yeah, I definitely agree. Especially with our jobs as counselors, we're always looking to help others. I'm sure friends and colleagues would understand if I can't participate in every single project or activity, it's sometimes difficult to say no. This season, it can't hurt to try to manage my stress, you know, before it manages me, really. Uh, if it's not possible to say no, this is probably my route, I can definitely try to remove something from my agenda to make up for that lost time. So I, I understand we all have different situations, but there are many instances where there's a common theme. I mean, we've shared some of you, some of them with you today. Um, we hope that you'd be able to employ some of these strategies to navigate this season. If you'd like to speak with someone about how you're feeling or want to check in on your mental health, we have some resources available to you with assessments and contact information. Uh, different agencies in the area are offering different things and you might have received some emails about them from uh, some of our staff. Uh, be sure to look into those. So wishing you all the best from our SRA counseling. I'm